Well, people making minimum wage in the state of Washington will get a bump up in January. That's when the rate increases to more than $9 an hour. In the last five years, the minimum wage has increased from $7.93 in 2007 to $8.07 in 2008, $8.55 in 2009, no increase in 2010, and $8.67 this year. KXOY's Aaron Luna joins us now live from Riverfront Park. And Aaron, Washington already has the highest rate in the nation. Just how much of an increase are we going to see? Well, Mike and Nadine, the Department of Labor and Industries announced today that the new minimum wage starting in January, January will be $9.04. That's a 37 cent increase from previous years. And while about 40 cents is exciting to some people we spoke to, other businesses are cringing at the new cost. It may seem like a simple job. Well, when I'm at the gondola, I make it go and stop. But for college student Mindy Campbell, the slow rotation fits perfectly with her schedule. And so does her pending raise. I always love it when minimum wage goes up. Starting January 1st, the new low will be $9.04. And while Mindy is thrilled to make more, the Spokane Parks and Rec Department is wishing they could hit the stop button on wage increases. We're going to somehow try to cut costs in other locations or places, um, cut services, whatever it may be, to make those types of things work. We have to make them work, um, so there's just no way around it. Mike Ajo with Parks and Rec says most of their 350 seasonal employees are minimum wage, meaning next year's operating budget just went up tens of thousands of dollars. Let's just say we have a 10-week program for youth in the summer um, at our summer camps. Maybe it, it reduces down to eight weeks. The same could be said at Tomato Street. It's been 19 months since I've raised prices here at the restaurant. But now he might have to. Owner Dean Haynes says Washington doesn't factor in tips to minimum wage employees. So that means around 60 employees are getting a raise. You know, those are raises that might be going to hourly employees, the ones that need the raises the most. An increase in the bottom line of about $60,000. Somewhere we have to pass it on to your guests, and that, that, that can be evil. But as everything seems to be getting more expensive, Mindy says it's nice to be able to keep up. With tuition going up as well, it's good to see that increase going up in minimum wage to be able to keep up with that. Like we said earlier, Washington does have the highest minimum wage, followed by Oregon. They just approved a 30 cent raise in their minimum wage. So starting January, they will bump up to $8.80. Now, it was back in 1998 that voters approved an initiative in Washington that requires them to adjust the minimum wage according to the consumer price index and inflation. Reporting in downtown Spokane, Aaron Luna, KXLY4 HD News.